Lifeguard uh, shortages are just one of the many areas that have been plagued over the last two years, and this year is no different. But Eyewitness News to Sherry and McBroom explains how some local pools are dealing with the shortage and still working to keep the community safe. Safety will always, you know, exceed anything else. Many experts around the water expect the summer of 2022 to bring the most people back to their local pools since 2019 pre-pandemic. But with lifeguard shortages across the country, many pools and parks are left trying to make sure the community has fun while maintaining safety as the number one goal. The lack of lifeguards means fewer pools are opening, which is driving people then when they're ready for those water activities, maybe to places that are not guarded and not as safe or driving them to the home pools where maybe people aren't paying attention as well. And so being able to open pools with lifeguards is just gonna really help uh, with those statistics and help bring those statistics back down. After experiencing shortages last year, Zachary Wathen, assistant director of Burdett Park, says this year they found different ways to fill positions. If something's somewhat broke, you fix it. Um, and, you know, we saw a problem and we tried to come up with a solution to, um, you know, to, to, to curb the, the pain of the pandemic. Um, you know, we've thought outside the box um, and, and you, you've got you to use everything, every resource you can to get kids and be appealing and, and have a simple place to work for kids. The YMCA is about 60 to 70 percent staff and could use another 20 or 30 guards to be comfortable as pools look to be filled this summer. I think we're absolutely going to see uh, full capacities at all the pools. Uh, people are just so happy to be able to be out without too much restriction. So that just makes the need for certified lifeguards uh, in our community even greater. Wathen says it's always important to be extra prepared. That's always our first priority. Um, and, and that's what they are is they, you know, they, they patrol in the water to keep people safe. So when we have enough guards, we can open all of our features. We can operate fully. In Evansville, DeSherry and McBroom, Eyewitness News.